Hello Pre-Algebra Kid, this is Mr. Jimini, along with Jivan, who is staring at me right now. I feel a little uncomfortable. I wish you guys were here. Anyways, looking at a problem, another problem from Khan the other day that was new to us. So it's not that we expected that we'd immediately understand this, but hopefully after a little clear explanation, you might make a little more sense of it. So, if I take a look here, it says... Kevin has $30 to spend at a store. The store currently has a sale where the sales price is 20% off the marked price. What is the highest marked price that Kevin can afford? So, let's take a look here. So, Kevin has 30 bucks. Must be very wealthy, Kevin is. The store currently has a sale where the sales price is 20% off the marked price. What is the highest marked price that Kevin can afford? Round to the nearest cent or hundredth of a dollar. Make sure you get here. Let's see here. I want to round this. Round. All right. So, taking a look at this, I don't know what the sales price is. That is an unknown. So, I'm just going to call this S. Or I'll call it P for price. Sometimes my S's look like fives. So, call it P for price. That's unknown. But what I do know is if I take 20% off of it, so I subtract that 20%. Now, again, similar to another problem we did, I can't put the 20% here. I want to convert it to a decimal. To convert a percent into a decimal, I just move the decimal place two places to the left. So it becomes two-tenths. And it's a two-tenths of that price that then is going to be equal to the money that Kevin has, which is 30. So combining like terms, remember, I don't like that P, it's too big. Combining like terms, as we do with another problem, we have essentially given this is just like one p. So one p minus a tenth or two tenths of a p is going to give me eight tenths of the price. And again, we want to get this to being close to thirty dollars. So just like we did last time, we want to evaluate for one p, not eight tenths of a p. So I'm going to divide both sides by eight tenths. Divide both sides by eight tenths. If I put in my calculator. 30 divided by 8 tenths, I get that. The most the price of an item that Kevin can buy is $37.50. Now again, this is the price before the sales price is taken off. So if I plug this back in, I have $37.50 minus... 37.50 times the 2 or the 20% off should give me a total of $30. So if I take this, obviously that equals 37.50 minus in my calculator 37.50 times 2 tenths equals $7.50. If I subtract these two, that would give me $30, which is exactly what Rich Kevin has to spend. All right, hope this helped.